Hello everybody and welcome back to another wild and thrilling episode of Parallel World Chat Spoiler Review where each of us are from a different parallel universe coming together and talking about films on Earth 1. Today we're going to talk about Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. What a wonderful day! Are we thankful for the words of Caesar? As always, though, before we get started, let me introduce my other host. Hailing from the backwoods of Wood Backwoods, it's Mr. Bunny Rabbit, the Bunny Rabbit, everybody. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Roll tacos and a horchata, that's what I'm talking about. You know, I love Planet of the Apes, and I am so excited that today we are actually going to be talking about this movie. I am also very excited about this. It is one of my favorite series. It's one of the longest franchises in movie history, Planet of the Apes. But moving on, my next host is Larry Fester, an old man from a universe of only old people. I can't believe that I'm still standing here like a robot. I had a, I had a problem with the spaghetti candle, and that was like over a year ago, and I'm still just sitting here like a, a freaking robot. Everybody, that's Larry and his wild antics, but you know, moving on... I don't have any antics, I didn't even want to be a robot! Okay, well, anyways, moving on again, uh, my next host is a cactus who just recently became sentient. I'm not even sure how that happened, but it is the beef, everybody! Hello, everybody, how you doing? Wow, I'm really glad that we did choose, like, a horror movie this time again. You know, because, like, the past two ones were really scary, but I love monkeys. And I think this one's got to be really good. It's always a pleasure working with you, The Beef. But you know, we're going to get on to our final host. It's Internet Cool Guy 2. He used to be a computer, then he got sucked into a parallel warp. Then he became a human. He had a radio show. I'm not sure. The guy's just all over the place. Internet Cool Guy 2, everybody. Hello, everybody. You're watching Internet Cool Guy 2 in the morning with Internet Cool Guy 2 and The Beef in the morning, where everything is Internet Cool Guy. I'm not even sure what that means or what to make with it, but anyways, today we're going to be covering the movie Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. What a wonderful day! The movie was directed by Wes Ball and it came out on May 10th, 2024, and it made $141.5 million in the box office, which is really, really amazing. What did everybody think of this film? You know, most of the time when I get on this show, I have, often think, you know, everything sucks, everybody sucks, I just kind of make fun of Larry all the time, I really don't even like anything besides Mexican food, but you know what, this is probably the best movie of the year right now, I swear, Planet of the Apes, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, this is, this is just an um, amazing movie. That's true, he's actually always making fun of me, it's, uh, it's driving me crazy. And we love you for that. You know, the movie's got a little bit of everything I love. You know, monkeys and apes and orangutans. I, I think there's kind of a little bit of a love story going on there, but not like really. It was a weird kind of tension often, but you know, all in all, an amazing film. Will you stop saying monkey so much? You know, I thought the movie was actually terrifying. You know, because uh, if a bunch of monkeys actually started getting like super smart and then created a civilization like they did and then get rid of all of us, then what would happen? That's the entire point of the movie, Larry. It's just, it, it, it's, it's, it's exactly what the movie is about. I thought it was really cool, because, like, the movie setting is, like, three, four hundred years into the future after Caesar died for the, the other ones. And it just, it, it just kind of shows, like, what's happening now. I personally love this movie, and I actually really love those last trilogy ones that came out. Uh, The Rise of the Planet of the Apes and all those ones. Those were amazing films. So I was a little concerned about this one, wondering if it was actually going to hold up compared to that. What did I miss? I can't agree with you anymore. I love the original series, I love the remakes, I love this one that's going on right now. I know a lot of us are probably very worried about which direction they were going to go with this. Is it actually going to be good compared to all the old, old ones? I mean, the old ones are hilarious. Charleston Heston? <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I just, I, I can't glorify this movie enough. Yeah, the, the movie was a lot better than the animation that we got on this show. 
So the synopsis for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes is this. We are now following a new hero. His name is Noah. It's three, four hundred years into the future since Caesar's reign. So Noah is the son of the king of the Eagle Clan. And these monkeys, they raise a bunch of eagles and do a really cool eagle stuff, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, now there's a new villain, Proxima Caesar, played by Kevin Duran, who did a fantastic job, by the way. And Kevin Duran, or Proxima Caesar, he is actually trying to kidnap all the monkeys and everybody everywhere around. They're bringing them to one section, and then now they found a government silo uh, stash area where inside is tons of technology, weapons, uh, tanks, you name it. Everything that could make Proximus Caesar actually take over the world. But also like during the entire film, you know, uh, Noah finds this girl named May who uh, he didn't know they could actually talk, but then starts talking, and she goes back and forth, like being cool, being weird. You know, she's just trying to get back to whole people too, uh, you know, but in, in, in a sense, I, I almost felt like she was like a villain. She called my name. You misheard. You said this Nova was smarter than most. Within reason. Some intelligence to be sure. I have a name. May. She was like a villain, you know, like that one part where uh, Proximus was actually inside of the silo, but then she runs out, and, uh, you know, she killed the monkey with the gun, and he was like, whoa, 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 okay, you're fine, you're good, you're good to go. And then she runs out there, and then she blows up the silo, and then, like, uh, Noah's over here, like, hey, don't do it, and she's like, I gotta do it, and so she blows it up, and then all the water from the ocean starts flooding in on all the monkeys inside of the silo, and everybody's just, like, in a struggle. So many monkeys died in that scene, it was so sad. I was a little bit confused by May, you know, I, I, I must have paid it, not paid attention for two seconds during the film, and I didn't realize that maybe she had a map, but I just kept wondering, how does this girl geographically know where everything is? Like, she knew how to get into the silo when these monkeys have been around there non-stop, but she just knew it is, hey, climb up to the very top and you can get in right here. I was a little bit confused by that part too, because I was like, I don't remember her seeing her get a map, you know, and I asked my wife, because we were watching the film together, and she was all like, oh yeah, they have a map, they, she has a map and she knows how to get around. What was that? You, 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 what was that thing that you just did with your voice, you know, you, you have terrible impersonations. I thought it was really cool at the very end when uh, Proximus Caesar was trying to fight Noah and like take over the Eagle Clan, but they were like, no way, that ain't gonna happen. So they got like a bunch of eagles, and then like all the eagles like started attacking Proximus, and then they shoved them off the hill. Planet of the Apes movie looks awesome. So what does everybody think? Do you think that you'd watch this movie again? Dude, I would totally watch this movie again. Right now, I watched it on uh, Disney Plus streaming, but I think it's Hulu. You know, I got the whole, like, trilogy package thing. Uh, Disney Plus, Hulu, ESPN. Anyways, blah, 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 blah. The movie's on there, and, like, so are all the other ones. I highly recommend going back and watching all of them. I don't know, I'd maybe watch the movie again, you know, after seeing the movie, it made me say to myself, like, you know, hey, it stays like now, or today, or at this moment, that make me happy that I am not a monkey. Dude, you are a monkey. What are you talking about? You don't even know what you're trying to say. That, that, that whole comment that you just said made no sense. It was day like this every day with Nanya Monkey. Will you just leave me alone? If I don't want to be a monkey, I don't have to be a monkey. You don't know nothing about me except basically, I mean, everything about me. You know what I think about it. But anyways, let me do the damn interview. You said a bad word. You said the word damn. Dude says he doesn't want to be a monkey because he doesn't want to be, but you know what? He's a robot even though he doesn't want to be. You have no control over your life, Larry. I do have control of my life, you know? Because you know what I'm going to do? And so right after this show, I am going to go get myself an eagle, and then I'm going to show up to your house, and I'm going to set that eagle out on you. I would totally watch this movie again, over and over and over. Definitely would watch this one again. If you're going to watch another movie again, it's probably going to be this one and watch it again. Also, Rocket was probably the coolest character in the whole film. Yeah, well, I'm probably the coolest character that's on this show. I thought the movie was really, really cool, you know? Because, like, all the monkeys are just, like, being themselves, you know? And they got their cool little monkey huts and their families and their eagles. And everybody's just, like, having a really good time. Except for, you know, the whole uh, Proximus part. 
I'd absolutely watch this movie again. I was very, very excited. I, I really couldn't wait to watch it. I saw it come up on the streaming. I said something to my wife about it. I was like, we gotta watch this. We're gonna make an episode about this one. You know, Eagle vs. Monkey. This is this is great. Uh, a fantastic film. I am very excited to see all the other ones that they're gonna make after this. I'm very curious to see where this whole entire storyline and this world is gonna go. I think it'd be really cool if they did something different, kind of like, you know, like the monkeys eventually, like, go into space, and now it's, like, space monkeys, but they also have, like, space eagles. That's what I'm talking about, you know, if I had myself, like, a space eagle, I'd probably be unstoppable! Dude, Larry, there you go again, always with the lies, you know, like, what are you actually gonna be stopping that makes you so unstoppable? You know, like a blizzard? You know, not paying your taxes? Uh, uh, uh throwing away the leftover food inside your fridge that's been sitting there for way too long? Hey, that's not fair! That's not fair at all! You know, because I told you that I was gonna take care of that, and I, I told you I so couldn't do anything about it, because I'm still a robot, and you said you were gonna pick me up and help me out, but you never do that, you know, because you're a terrible friend to me! You know, dude, that's because it's funny. You know, when I do these things, I do it because it's funny. And that makes it okay. I hate you so much. Can we all just please say something nice for one second, please? I can. I can say something right here. You're watching Internet Cool Guy 2 in the Beef in the Morning with Internet Cool Guy 2 in the Beef in the Morning. Now you know what you're watching because that's Internet Cool Guy 2 in the Beef in the Morning. I'm not even sure why I even try anymore. I don't even know why I even speak or come into this job. Anyways, thank you everybody for another episode of Parallel World Chat Spoiler Reviews. We had a great time. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, an amazing film. Great job, Wes Ball, the director. You really killed it this time. I'm very excited to see what's happening next. And I can't wait to get into another episode with all of you. Not the people I work with, but all you, the viewers. I cannot wait to have another episode. And I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace.